Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be showing you guys what happens if you force the hunter in Starfield to be your follower. So, obviously, the hunter is not meant to be your follower, but using console commands on the PC version of Starfield, we can make him your follower. So, here we are. If you saw my previous video, you can encounter the hunter pretty early on in the game. Uh, when he's still not hostile and just uh, use these following console commands to make him your follower so you have to make sure you uh, once you bring up the console you gotta make sure you select him correctly it has to say like NPC followed by those numbers uh, so you might like scroll through the options a little bit in case your first click doesn't actually like select him but there's like three commands you want to use to make him your follower and I'm entering them right now in the console and once all three are entered his dialogue if you still talk to him is still the same uh, as like when he's like you know just a normal NPC but he will actually follow you now and in addition to following you he will pretty much uh, do whatever you want him to do so one thing though is even though he's your follower now if you attack like any like innocent people and uh, cause like guards to turn against you then the hunter will also turn against you and he will instantly attack you as well and fight alongside like the UC security for example however if you attack the hunter himself he won't turn against you uh, he'll he'll react to it a little bit but he won't he won't fight you back so anyways now that that's out of the way just for fun let's take the hunter to the lodge and see how he or the people here react and well as you can see the hunter doesn't really react to anything in here and people don't really react to his presence either I mean I, I guess it's like going beyond like what the game was scripted to handle so that's probably why but despite the hunter is just like you know walking around the lodge and you know, if you played through more of the game, you'll know why this is kind of like <laughs> silly or odd. But yeah, I mean, the artifacts are all here. The hunter is just, you know, he doesn't care. Nobody else cares that he's here. So let's try taking the hunter on to a quest with us. And just uh, let's see how he re what he does around other enemies this time. So this is the one of the earlier quests because... Uh, I recruited the hunter very early on in the campaign, so I don't have access to the later quest. I, I am kind of curious what would happen if the hunter, if he's still your follower, when you go on the uh, quest that you actually first encounter him normally in the storyline. Uh, I'm not sure what happens there, because I, I haven't gone far enough uh, in this playthrough to see what happens. But uh, if I do manage to do that, I will post an update video for sure. But for now... We can see how the hunter reacts to normal enemies on a normal quest. And he does use all his abilities to fight them. But, I don't know, he, he doesn't seem to be very, I guess, aggressive against enemies. Like, he, he kind of, like, hangs back quite a bit. And doesn't, like, he doesn't push forward too much. Uh, he kind of just, I don't know, he just kind of plays it safe, it seems. So, yeah, I mean, he's, he's not like a, a tank or anything when fighting enemies. He just... His AI is like, I feel it's not too much different from like any other like follower that you have. Uh, he doesn't, you know, this is like a really early mission. And I thought like he would just kind of like solo the entire mission for me. <laughs> but no, he just takes it really slow and easy, really. Uh, so yeah, he, he's not, he's not that great in combat as a follower. So that's, uh, I mean, he does have some really great abilities that you just saw there, but that's about it. But yeah, so that's how you force the hunter to be your follower and what it's like to have him as your follower. I mean, he's it's pretty cool to have him as your follower, but he's not particularly like that useful as your follower compared to any like other character that you would actually have as your follower. Uh, so yeah, there you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then as always, make sure to leave a like. I'll leave, leave a thousand comments. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.